Hi there. Good morning. Wow. This is pretty much like heaven. If there is a Switzerland of India, I think Nainital Lake must be it. Absolutely stunning. What a change from where I was before, down on the plains of India. It is green, it is gorgeous, it is cool. The perfect temperature here in late April. Sunny, warm, not scorching hot. I'm going to walk down to the lake now. My hotel is right up here. I just arrived yesterday. Coming from Varanasi, long train and bus journey. I'm still kind of wiped out and uh, in a daze from just the intensity of my Indian adventures up until now. This is what I needed, other than the motorbike horns that are present everywhere. But otherwise, this is what my uh, body and mind and soul was really craving. Some nature, some mountains, some lakes, trees. And I'm sure that I will find all of that without the motorbikes and the traffic at some point here, as my uh, Himalayan adventure has just barely, barely begun, I will be heading much deeper into the mountains. So, speaking of the mountains, the plan for today is to get a look at them. These are the foothills of the Himalayas. Here at Nainital, we are at 2,000 meters or about 6,300 feet. Up a long ways from the uh, plains of India, but there's a long ways further to go. And you can see some of those higher peaks from various points around here, including, I'm sure, up on some of the uh, mountains up here. So I'm going to uh, get down to the lake and then find a hike, maybe up there first, and then get around to the other end of the lake that looks like a kind of central point down at the uh, end down there with uh, lots of shops, hotels, restaurants, and a Tibetan market. It sounds really cool. So the day has just begun exploring incredible Nainital. So there's this lovely walking path along the lake here. I'm looking forward to seeing, there's a temple there, I think, and then the uh, Tibetan market. You could just walk along over there. But I want to get the views from up there that includes the lake and the mountains in the background, if possible. Also, there is a temple up here that apparently closes at 12 o'clock noon for the afternoon, and I might have time to uh, get up there and see that. Let's get the hike started. Gandhiji. This seems to be kind of the uh, center of town. The bus dropped me off just down there. Here you have the I Love Nine It's All sign and a great view. What a day, man. This is just like. Found paradise. <laughs> now that looks like a church there. I'm going to uh, investigate on my way hiking up that hill. So this is my second time to Nainital. The last time I was here was 22 years ago. February of 2000, on my first trip to India, at the very end, I did the same bus journey that I am just starting now, going north from here to Almora and then up and over through the Himalayas back to Rishikesh. Here you can see 
Hanuman Gari. I think that that is actually the temple that I was thinking of. Okay, how do you get up there? Bishop Shah Inter College. Oh, there's a door right there. No? No. No. Okay, thank you. All right, let's uh, walk through the little market area here. See if this will uh, connect to a road or path or whatever up the hill. And so when I was here in 2000, it was middle of winter, and I don't have much of an impression of it. I actually almost skipped coming to Nainatal this time because I thought it wasn't that amazing from my recollection the last time. I must have just stayed for a night. It was probably later in the evening when I arrived and kind of dark and maybe dismal weather or who knows, but uh, I'm glad that I came back. All right. The trail's going up the hill. That's a good sign. Some good smells in this market here. Okay, this looks interesting. Going the right way. Give it a try. Yeah, this is like a perfect sort of hiking path with some interesting designs. It is already getting hot. Luckily, I brought a pair of shorts just in case. Might be the first time that I wear shorts in India this trip, I was refraining. It isn't really a thing for Indian adults to wear shorts. So I was wearing thin, like pajama type of uh, pants. Got the Levi's on now. But uh, up in the mountains, then uh, nobody's gonna care if you're wearing shorts. Already getting some cool views. My hotel is like straight across over there. Oh yeah, this is awesome. A map of India here, and faces of women, all women, must be prominent women of India. Women empowerment. A nice walking path here. I've decided to abandon the quest for the temple, a Hanuman temple. It is two kilometers away, the opposite direction from the Tiffin top, which is the viewpoint, and instead head for the viewpoint, but uh, came across this and thought I would show some of this Pretty nice art. Save the girl child. All like causes. National Nutrition Mission. Save water, save environment. Inspiration forever. And down there is Haldwani, where I caught a bus from to get up to Nainital here. Down in the plains, it is very stark, the contrast. You're in the plains, it's all flat, you don't see hardly a hill, and then you start to see the uh, hills through the haze. Again here, haze, you can see another ridge out there, but that is looking south, back down towards the plains of India. And then from here, it is just all 
hills, turning to mountains, turning to massive mountains, heading up into the Himalayas, out that way. Can't wait to get deeper into them. St. Francis Home. St. Francis Home Catholic Church. Over on the right there, you can see 7 a.m. English, 9 a.m. Hindi. I guess that is a church service. And there is a detail there that I will point out in just a second and then talk about Nainital a little more. Just wanted to show this shrine to, obviously, Mother Mary. So, on the left, established, 1899. Nainatal is a hill station, it is called. Hill stations are towns that were set up by the British during the British Raj, the occupation of India, as administrative and vacation resort towns for the British to get away from the heat of the plains, just like I did yesterday. Get up here where it's nice and cool, beautiful green, pleasant. Now, of course, the uh, British occupation of India collapsed after World War II, 1899, so that was smack in the middle of the British reign over India. So I'm going to guess that the reason for the prevalence of the Christian churches, the uh, convent that I saw at the bottom, and that one there, is because of the English presence here. Nainatal was established in 1841, when the first British residence was built. Howdy. How's it going? I watch your YouTube videos. Oh, no way. Very cool, man. Are you from Canada, San Francisco, uh, US? You got both right. I'm from Canada and yes, from San Francisco yes, in the US. I watch your videos. Very cool. Where are you from? I'm from Delhi. Delhi, okay. Yeah, you just uh, on vacation? Yeah, actually, it's very hot over there. Yeah, no doubt. I just came from Varanasi. Yeah, so, oh, Varanasi. It's hot over there as well. Exactly. It's everywhere. If you aren't up in the uh, mountains, yes. then it's going to be scorching hot. Yes. Are you up here for a long time or just a few days? Or? I work for an American company, so I'm, I'm oh, having okay. work from home for the next two months. Oh, I see. So I'll be see. staying here for the next two months. Oh, great idea, man. My summer, summer time here. Yeah. What kind of work? I actually, I'm into data. I'm a data analyst. I see. Excellent. I'm filming a video right now about Nainatal, so you're in it if you're okay with that. Problem. Right on, right on. When did you get here? I got here on 15th of April, so it's been more than 10 days. I see, and very nice. You know, I am, I'm having wedding anniversary next, next, in two days, on 27th of April. So I want to enjoy here with my wife. I see. Yes. What was your name? My name is Manan. Manan. Gabriel. Thank you. Nice yeah, to meet you, man. I know your name, Gabriel. I figured. Bye -bye. Right on, nice Bye -bye. to meet you, man. Have a good one. All right, the uh, first subscriber that I've seen in a while. I'm trying to think if it happened in India before. Maybe once, but uh, that's it. So, you know, it doesn't happen every day. I'm no celebrity. Hello. Hello. And here is the All Saints College Nainital, a Christian minority institution, Diocese of Agra, established 1869. And this is the right way. About another 25 minute walk up this nice, shaded, pleasant road, getting little views through the trees of the lake. But I'm looking forward to hopefully a wide open view and seeing the snowy Himalayas. And here we go, an amazing view. My hotel is right over there somewhere. There is the I Love Nainatal sign. It is quite hazy out there, so not sure if we'll be able to see the mountains, the high ones. Hello. When you see them, it just like blows your mind, just puts everything in perspective. When you see the long line of the Himalayas, I remember especially from Masuri, it is quite a ways away from the high peaks of the Himalayas. You get to this viewpoint and from there, if it is clear enough, then you can see the Himalayas 
a long ways off, but it stretches as far as you can see in both directions and shows you how incredibly massive, long, this Himalayan range is. When you're seeing the tallest mountains in the world that look like this, so you're a long ways away, and yet it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes both directions. There is just nowhere in the world like them. It is great to see them from afar. You get a different perspective than when you are right inside them. There you can see, you know, the panoramic view. And then, of course, getting into them is the uh, best thing, and that is definitely the goal for this trip. So there is the road which continues up there. But this is the way to Tiffin Top. I just saw a viewing platform up there. It looks like this is going to be really spectacular. And this is great that it's turning into a proper hike. I thought it was going to be something along the road. I'm getting just a little bit of a Greek feeling here with these cicadas. Man, oh man, is this completely different from where I've been in India for the past three weeks or so. And we got langur monkeys. I also saw the rhesus monkeys. The silver meditating monks. They look quite human, like uh, sadhus, bearded, holy men. Lots of them jumping in the trees there. They are the friendlier ones. The rhesus monkeys are more aggressive and thieving. So, this is turning into a serious hike. What I saw on Google Maps said 25 minute walk at least 30 minutes ago. I think that what that was referring to was the parking lot at the uh, place where the trail starts at the uh, road there. And then the hike is a whole separate thing. Now luckily I have lots in the liquid department, a full bottle of water and a Sprite. However, I don't have any food and I'm getting on the verge of hungry. So hoping that this isn't too much more of a hike because I still got to get down to the road and then get to a restaurant somewhere, preferably at the uh, north end of the lake. Go check out that area and the bazaar, the Tibetan bazaar. That will be great to see. I'm loving the smells of the whatever, pines or pines and oaks. There's a dome out there. Probably a temple. Maybe that is the Hanuman temple. And a big school-looking building there. Probably one of the things that I saw on the way. I can see tiny, tiny little people in the courtyard. Pretty looking horse. We are getting close, if not there. Little snack bar. So I could eat something here, but I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, Viewpoint Restaurant. I'll get down to the lake for lunch. All right, all right, all right. This is it. Oh yeah. And it is not crazy crowded. Today is Monday. I lucked out and came at the right time to Nainital. I heard a story that the police were 
not allowing people to come to Nainital sometime recently, I think, because there were just too many people and so they were having to stop people like on the roads. It is a very popular place on the weekend and I'm sure that it is a totally different scene. All right, let's get the view from Tiffin Top. So I'm going to uh, speculate here, take a guess at why it's called Tiffin Top. I'm not gonna see the mountains today. You can see the surrounding mountains, which are epic. And we'll see the lake. But really quick, I would assume that it is called Tiffin Top because Tiffin is the little containers the Indians used to eat. Especially if you ride the trains, you will see families of Indians with this whole stacked set of dishes, metal dishes that all like connect together and then they take them apart, open them up one by one and you get all your usual Indian stuff, the uh, vegetable subji and rice and dal and curd, yogurt and etc. So Tiffin Top is probably because you come up here with your Tiffin and then you have a picnic up here. That's my best guess. So it is not as spectacular of a view of the lake as I was thinking that it might be and that I was really looking for on this hike, but here you go. Still a stunning view. So there's the lake down there, but it wraps around further behind this ridge here. So you must get a little bit more of a view of the lake itself from there. But the high peaks are obscured by the haze. Not sure how much you could actually see from here anyways because of this ridge in the way. That peak right there is the place that you would want to be to get the epic views of the Himalayas. But if you're patient and stick around here and see more of my upcoming Himalayan videos, then you will definitely see those snowy peaks sometime fairly soon, we can hope.